As a little follow-up to yesterday's little announcement about how you get a daily login bonus by going to the store and then going to the events tab. Mine's not up yet, but every 24 hours go here and claim it. To actually get the loot, you gotta go to the core breaker and break a core. How's it going y'all? My name is Doe. Hope y'all are doing pretty well. In this video, I'll be describing the new trial week, which is week 11, and trying to give you guys some tips to fight it using the new Aether weapons, or new Fist weapons, called the Aether Strikers. Which are a ton of fun, especially in this trial, because the mobility you can use with these weapons makes it, you know, it makes it pretty good. But this week, has a couple of things. Like, what are the modifiers? This week has five modifiers. You've got Volcanic Vitriol. This is in normal mode. This is where vol volcanoes erupt from the ground, spewing lava pools around the battlefield. Just bring Molten. You bring Molten, you bring Fireproof. This becomes a non-factor besides the fact that it can kind of body block you if you're close to it. So just try and avoid where the volcanoes erupt at. Like avoid like the the giant mass in the middle of the, the battlefield and you'll, you'll be fine. The next modifier is called Behemoth Blitz. This is also in the normal mode. This is where Behemoth attack speed is increased. On Skarn, it's not too big a deal because it's already, you know, it's already like a slow-ish behemoth. So this is just making it more moderate in terms of, in terms of its speed. So it's not a big deal for that modifier to be around. And uh, moving past that, you've got Combustion, Behemoth's Physical Attack, Set Slayers on Fire, Molten Fireproof. That's all there is to it. And Inferno, Behemoth's On Fire, Behemoth's On Fire effects last longer and deal more damage. Again, you, just, you legit just bring Molten. Last one is Shockfall. Behemoth rock attacks, shell behemoth rock attacks, shell shock, and deal bonus damage to slayers. So, on Skarn, uh, its attacks do a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure that its charge will nearly one shot you. Its slams will nearly one shot you, and I think that might be a, a factor with sh uh, shockfall. But regardless, like this modifier doesn't really matter that much because you're getting hit so hard anyway, you probably will die. But if you guys want to have an easier time doing trials. My suggestions are to bring Bulwark Tonic, you bring Iron High Pylons, or whatever they're called, and you also, if you if you play Hammer, try and get enough marks, if you can spare them, to buy Iron Heart Landbreaker. Those are all ways to reduce damage you take, which can negate a one-shot. You just avoid a one-shot. If you're playing the Drask Hammer, or any, any uh, armor that has a defense slot, put in some tough, or nine lives maybe. I would, I would go with tough, because tough gives you more health, you'll avoid getting one shot. Those are my tips to stay alive in these trials and to last longer. You can do things like that if you're having a hard time staying alive. Those are your options. And if you have Bork Tonics and Iron and Ironheart Landbreaker, you're going to take like no damage. Well, you'll take damage, but you won't die. You'll, you'll get like, instead of getting one shot, you'll get pretty much quarter shot or something like that. So those are my, those are my suggestions for that. And I do, I'm playing my run right now, like, I did a run on stream, which there's no sound because I was, I was listening to NF the whole time. The NF uh, rapper makes really good music. But I listened to him the whole time, and that's copyright, so that is muted. Because I don't want to get this video demonetized, or whatever whatever else would happen, so that's happening. But this trial, it's it's okay. I think that it's, it's fun to play. I just wish that the, I just wish that we had Escalation, you know? I wish we had Escalation right now, like that would be, that would be a dream come true, is to have that game mode. But, in due time we will, and right now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the build I used, because I used a, a Drask build, I was using a Drask weapon, because this trial is a Terra Behemoth, you want to have Shock weapons. Now your, your Shock weapon selection is, you got Stormclaw, you got Drask, and you have Nizaiga. Nizaiga shouldn't even be a thought going through your head, whatsoever, you should not be like, oh it's, it's a Terra Behemoth, I need Shock weapons. I'm gonna play Nizaga. Do not play with Nizaga weapons if you're trying to go for really fast times. If you're going for like these competitive times or trying to like do the best you can, Nizaga weapons are not the play. Those weapons are just not that great. They don't really synergize that well. Like they synergize with themselves, kind of, but for overall like killing things fast, not the play. Stormclaw can be okay. It's an alright weapon pick, but Drask is just better overall because it gives you actual damage. You get Increased damage for some weapons, it's increased damage versus tails. For others, it's in increased damage versus heads. In strikers and in striker, hammer and axe's case, 
you get increased damage versus the heads of a behemoth. For the other weapons, it's increased damage versus the tails, and repeaters do not have this modifier, or they don't have this, you know, this prism, if you will. So they're not really a part of the discussion. But with the draft strikers, these also have a technique and a power slot, which is phenomenal. Like that is, those are really good slots. Those are really, really good slots. Those are the slots of like the chain blades, I think, but the chain blades are increased damage versus tails, which isn't that great. Especially not in solo environment. It's not that it's not that life changing. So the Drask Strikers are good. And on top of that, Drask or Shock Strikers in general are really nice because they apply the shock proc very fast. Because Karma Breaker is a dot. Every time that dot does damage, it's applying it's a, it's uh, contributing to your, your shock status on a behemoth. So you can get really fast and consistent shock procs throughout your fights. On Skarn, I I shock proc'd it twice in under two minutes. Which is crazy. That's, that's crazy fast. So it's just, it's it's insane. And that's making it really nice because you're also bringing overpower and they're also a blunt weapon. So strikers are just really good in this fight. Like they're phenomenal in this fight. They do more damage versus Skarn's armor, which is a big plus. And they just, they, they shock it. Like there's so many opportunities for overpower. It's, it's insane. So it's a really, really good weapon choice. But for the build, I've got Titan's Crash. That, like that's a special that is just it's better than the other special because it does stagger damage and it's really quick to use those are like the two main reasons and also if you guys like the damage from titan's crash you'll see like oh i did like 5k damage but admin bolt does 7k well titan's crash has an aoe attack as well and that does like around 1000 damage so you're, you're doing like 6k damage and you're also doing stagger damage on top of that so this, this attack does a lot of damage but for my modifier i have cyclonic strike plate this is the modifier that I like to use. I think I would use Echo Plate or Echo Echo Bracers, whichever one does like the whichever one works with crit. If I had crit chance in my build, but I don't, because my build also I'm not going for low life, because the way my perks are set up, you know, you, just, you can't. It's just not not a good idea for me at least, because I the perks I have are the ones I want, so I'm gonna stick with that. Now for my helmet, I've got Reza Reza Kiri helmet, the chest. Hellion, the gloves, Hellion, and the feet, Kosha, with the Drask Lantern. And I'm going with Drask Lantern because Skarn's a Terra Behemoth and Shock is better against it. I'm not like a thousand percent sure or a hundred percent sure if Drask Lantern is like that much better than like say Embermane, but in the case of the Strikers, I don't want to have too much attack speed. I've already got Conduit and Molten. That's what, 45% extra attack speed, including my Tempest form attack speed buff from the strikers themselves, which I don't know exactly how much attack speed you get from that. But that's a lot of attack speed. And past a certain point, there are there's not really much you can gain from having more attack speed, especially if you have to like spin stuff to get it. So I'm good on attack speed, I don't want any more. Instead I want I want to focus on damage now to have a more even dispersion of my perks and whatnot. But yeah, that's the build. And like I said, trials are trials this week, they're rough. They're rough. I think that uh Last week was like a little nice break from all the all the crazy the craziness of trials. It was a super easy week, which was it was nice. It was nice to see that TBH. Nice to see folks. Uh, and I hope folks I hope that folks took advantage of that because I made a video and I tried to say, hey guys, this is a really easy week. If you guys want your marks, just try this week. Like not many things will one shot you, except aside from like all the meatballs. Like it was all the garden came back with a vengeance, man. But aside from that, it was a really easy week last week. Wait no, last week was Shrike. I'm, I don't know what what day it is. Whichever whichever week had Charog, that was the easy week. I'm I don't know. I think it was like week nine. But I, the weeks are just going. The weeks are fusing together. I don't know what's what anymore. But that's that's the video, man. That's all. That's all we gotta say. I don't really record many of my attempts, so I have to do that right now. Actually, after I finish the audio for this video, I gotta go and fight Scar a lot, and probably die a lot, and just record just. Land, run dead. Land, run dead. Just me running from spawn to die. So, fun times. But you guys, if you like the video and you want to support the channel, you can do so by liking it, sharing it, or commenting on the video. Those things help a lot. And by the way, thank you guys very much for liking the other videos. I, I, I see that and I really appreciate it. it. It means a lot. Thank you guys very much for doing that. If you want to support the work I do here, like just, you know, me personally, if you use my Epic Games Worker code in the Epic Games Store, which is Odo, that helps me out a ton. If you want, you can get my in-game flair by going to my Twitch and subbing there with Twitch Prime, Tier 1, 
gifted, doesn't matter. If you're a sub, use exclamation mark flare in the chat and go to the Discord link. And then from there, it's like you link Discord and Twitch and you're, you're golden. But that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you again for watching. It means a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.